Välkommen till Backmans garage. Det här är den första filmen faktiskt. Idag har vi 100 följare. Hej everybody. Hej allihopa. Idag är well, det som kommer. Hej allihopa och välkommen till Backmans garage. I just want to say thank you one more time for subscribing to this channel. It makes me feel very, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right, right? So, with that said, let's get today's episode started. Today it's quite an exciting day because today we're finally going to assemble the engine. We're going to get it about 80 to 85 percent complete. I'm still waiting for a few parts like the turbo and the exhaust manifold. Those things have to be bought used and I just haven't found a good seller yet. So we're, uh, we're not going to do anything on the exhaust side today, including the water pipes because those still need to be cut. Haven't gotten around to that yet. But we're going to do everything on the intake side, the front and the top. As you saw in the intro, I have prepped and painted everything we're going to put on the engine today. We're not going to go through any of that. Uh, I decided to go with black because it's a color, for me, that is a bit colorblind. It's a nice color. I know what black is, you know, and you, I just can't go wrong with it. So this is all painted in RAL 9005 is the color code for this. It's just, I think it's just the blackest black you can get. Uh, it's all done in a two component process. Uh, the base coat is two component, the clear is two component. So this should last a long time and also be, also be very chemically resistant. I was thinking about painting some of the components in silver, like they are stock, but I figured, nah, my mind just told me to paint it black and I decided to just run with it. And I believe it was the right choice for me. Maybe I will decide to do something creative later on, like some pinstriping or stickers or something along those lines, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I called up Volvo earlier this week and they sent me the gaskets that we need to assemble the oil pan onto the engine. So let's just get started with that. Okay, so here you can clearly see the difference between the old one and the new one, and it is just crazy. This really needed to be replaced. This oil pan is from a six cylinder engine and it's cut down to size to fit this five cylinder. If you missed that, uh, please check the link up top and uh, go check that out.
day two now. And I figured we'd start on the front here. So we're gonna assemble uh, the water pump, the pulley system, timing, all that stuff. Then we take the intake. So we're just gonna move this way. And we're not gonna worry about the exhaust, like I said. So yeah, let's get to it. And this is the kit we're gonna use. It's a gate power grip kit. Uh, it comes complete like this. It's from Auto Dock. This is, I think it's the cheapest one you can get. But you get the water pump, the pulleys, the tensioner, gasket, obviously, and the belt itself. I think that's about it. Oh, and you get one of these little stickers as well. I'll put a link to this in the description. And yeah, let's just get started with the water pump and the gasket and the bolts. bolts. Look how nice they turn out when you restore them. They look like brand new. So next up is the cam belt. Okay, so it's basically the same thing here. You wanna make sure that this marker lines up and this marker right here is straight up. This marker right here is straight up. As long as you got that right, it'll be fine. These are very, very simple engines to uh, get the timing right on. Just to make sure that these are okay, I'm gonna put the uh, cover on. Yeah, that lines up. That lines up. So we should be good. Now it's time to uh, put the tension on. And in order to get the right tension, you have this uh, gauge or whatever you want to call it, which you can turn if you have the right. Okay, so this is how you tighten it up. And as you start to tighten, you start to see this gauge right here. Now, right here is minus 20 degrees ambient temperature and in the middle it's 20 degrees Celsius ambient temperature and up here is plus 50 degrees amb ambient temperature and we have 20 degrees in here I know that for a fact so we're gonna put it right in the middle and torque this nut down and there you go okay so what you want to do now is turn the engine over twice on the crank just to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So we're gonna do that next, but first we need to pop the gear back on here. Uh, I believe we can do that now. Yeah, so let's do that. Make sure that's clean. When it comes to this bolt right here, uh, it is tightened down to 300 nanometers, but I'm not going to worry about that, so I'm just going to get the air gun and just uh, ugga dugga this thing and uh, get it on there. Okay, so the next piece that's going to go on here is this thermostat housing, which goes Somewhere around right there. Oh, 
Okay, so next item on the list is the alternator servo pump, AC pump bracket. Also, I can't remember how it goes. Something like that, maybe? No? Maybe like so? No? No, that has to go under there. Yep, it's probably something like that. If you guys think that this episode kind of looks weird on the camera side of things, don't worry about it. I'm just experimenting a little bit with the color grading and stuff like that. And I'm colorblind, so uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move on to the boring old uh, crankcase ventilation now. Not gonna be talking about it as much as I did last time. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna smack it on there. Nothing. We've been through it, right? So yeah, we're just gonna put it on here. Okay, so I spared you guys the process of putting on the uh, silicone there. Uh, that's all done. It's on. It's also on the intake, so I'm just gonna pop the intake on here right now and uh, gaskets on the floor. So just put the gasket on like this, like such. So one bolt here, one bolt in here. Put the gasket on. Put the crankcase ventilation through it, and then hook the intake on. Pop the injectors in here as well. We're not going to run with this fuel rail though. But I need this on here to do the wiring and stuff. That will be up next. Damn, that's ugly. Oof. Nope. Go away. That looks better. Okay, next I'm just gonna put this cover on so I want to see how this looks like. I just put the coils in here because we're gonna do wiring next. So I just want all the electronic stuff in place. Put this on here. It snaps in place. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so now I just want to put on these screws that I have finished off in a golden color. Oh, thanks, that's good. Ooh, that, oh, I'm so glad I did that. I'm really glad I did that. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. It's very appreciated. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, smash it, do whatever you want. And if you want to follow my content, you know what to do. Please write a comment down below what you think about this project and how it's going so far. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. What do you get? Hey.